Yo, Yagi, could you take care of this for me? But this is... What, you got something you want to say to me? No. Hey, uh... What is it? No, it's nothing. Oh my god, that guy is so scary and intimidating. My name is Kaida Yagi. I'm an office worker at Mani Robo Corporations. I've always been a very timid person, and I can't really confront others the way I want to. I don't want to be this way, but I just lose my voice when I'm in front of others. I can't do anything about it. And the worst part of this is that I hate fighting with others, so I've just convinced myself that not saying anything is better than speaking up. But that doesn't mean I want extra work shoved onto me. He always makes me do his work. It's not fair. That was my boss, Yoshimasa Kurosaki. I have no idea if he's good at his job or not, but he always forces his subordinates to do his work for him. As a result, he never really does anything around here. And all of the work he forces us to do are very tedious and irritating. He's been specifically targeting me, precisely because I'm timid and I can't stand up for myself. This guy sitting at the desk next to mine is Juyuna Yoshiyama. He has lots of tattoos and seems very intimidating. And I always feel like he's watching me for some reason. I hate sitting here. Can someone move me away from this creep, please? Thankfully, I had a friend at the office that made my time here easier. This is Rina Etu. She's my only friend here. Work's finally done for the day. Say, Kaidi, want to go grab dinner tonight? We haven't ate out together in ages. Sure. Rina is the only person I feel safe and comfortable around. We became friends when I first joined the company. She's very kind and reliable, and she almost feels like a sister to me. A few weeks later, we were notified by our boss that we were going to have a company party soon. We're going to have a company-wide party next week. Every department's expected to attend, so you all better show up. I do want to go, but I'm allergic to alcohol. I wonder if it would be smart for me to go. By the way, you never show up to our parties, do you, Yagi? Well, I guess. You better come this time, though. What? And you're going to be organizing. Wait, what? Me? You got a problem with that? N no, I don't. We're probably going to host it at the same restaurant we always go to, so make sure you plan accordingly. Yes, sir. God, as if I wasn't busy enough. I'm supposed to organize this? In the usual restaurant? How would you ever know where that is? This is your first time ever attending our parties. Ugh, it's all right. I'll help you out with this. I know you're allergic to alcohol, so thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh, well, I've always wanted to go, and I guess it'll be fun to get to know everyone better at the party. And all I have to do is not drink alcohol. They should have a bunch of non-alcoholic beverages, right? I'm sure they do. And so I try thinking positively. Yeah, you know what? What I should be doing is looking at everything in a positive light. My boss is making me do all his work. That just means I'm getting more experience doing a wide range of tasks. I can't beat myself up over everything I do. It's not healthy. Stay positive, Kaidi. And so the day of the party finally arrived. Mmm, these chicken wings are absolutely delicious. <laughs> you look like a squirrel right now, Kaidi. Slow down. But everything here is delicious. And I didn't think company parties would be this much fun. Oh yeah, this is your first time attending one, isn't it? By the way, what's having an alcohol allergy like? Does your body get itchy when you drink alcohol or something? Yeah, and the first time I drank alcohol, I passed out and I had to be transported to the hospital. Seriously? Yeah, everyone around me didn't know what happened and they were all panicking. I was fine since I only drank a bit, but my doctor told me to never drink any alcoholic beverages again after I woke up. I see. That sucks. I'm sorry that happened to you. Then maybe we should move you to a seat further away from our boss. Huh? Why? Well, when he gets drunk, he always starts bothering people and forcing them to drink more. He's done it to me before, too. Wait, really? Yeah, he didn't do much to me, but he specifically picks on people who can't really stand up for themselves. And no one stops them? Well, our management team is over there just chatting amongst themselves. I think they're talking about important business-related things, and they don't have the time to be concerned with what goes on over here. And unfortunately, Mr. Kurosaki always ends up on this side of the party, so... He loves picking on other people and feeling like he's important, so he surrounds himself with his subordinates. And he bullies people when the higher-ups aren't watching. And all he's doing is making you drink more, so it's not like you can go to the higher-ups to complain about him. I see. And apparently, our manager really doesn't like Mr. Kurosaki. He hates him. Wait, really? Yeah, and that's why he never tries to join the adults at their table. He's afraid of pissing the manager off. Oh, I see. Hey, you bastards drinking? Yes, of course we are, sir. We've drank so much already that we're practically about to pass out. That's great, but you can go for another drink, can't you? It's a party after all. And what about you, Yagi? Whoa, 
you're getting a little close there, sir. What are you talking about? This is normal. Oh, uh, uh, ew. His breath stinks really bad. He's had way too many drinks. Sir, you need to step away from her right now or else. I'm telling you that this is normal. And besides, you two are always standing close to each other. That's fine, and this isn't. That's because we're both women. Wait, Yagi, this isn't what I think it is, right? Is this tea? Well, yes. Oh, shoot. I think I screwed myself there. No, oh, you're kidding me. You're drinking tea at a company party? You know you're supposed to drink alcohol at the party, right? But you're drinking tea? That is just insane. You're the first person I've ever seen to do that. Well, I don't know about that, but... Well, I'm telling you that you gotta drink alcohol because this is a company party. Here, take this glass. It's got beer in it. Now, come on, drink it. But I can't. Oh, so you can't drink beer, huh? <laughs> You're such a child. Then here, drink this instead. This right here will hit you like crack. And so my boss started pouring an alcoholic beverage into my cup without my consent. Why does he want me to drink alcohol so badly? It doesn't make any sense. Well, sir, I'm actually allergic to alcohol and I can't drink. That's right, sir. It's not that she isn't drinking. She physically can't. So you can't force her to drink that. It's dangerous. Allergic to alcohol? <laughs> I've never heard of anyone with that kind of allergy. I'll bet you're lying to me. But I am allergic to alcohol and... Stop lying to me. That doesn't exist, damn it. It doesn't exist if I say so, all right? No, sir. It does exist. Y you just don't know about it. Huh? Are you guys calling me dumb or something? How is that fair, huh? Hey, you think you can talk to me like that? That's not what I'm saying. I'm just trying to tell you that you're wrong. You can look it up, you know. There's stuff about this on the internet. Fine, whatever. It does exist. But I doubt it's anything serious, huh? You're just gonna get a few spots in your arm or something, right? Then you should be able to drink some. And I've heard that people fix their allergies by increasing their exposure to whatever they're allergic to. Maybe you should try doing that. What? So, you should drink some, right? Come on, bottoms up! I, I can't. My doctor told me that I really shouldn't drink a single drop of alcohol. Well, that doctor is lying to you. You gotta be stopping the, the being such a big wussy or whatever. You have to cut it out, sir. She has a serious allergy, and you shouldn't belittle it. No, oh, come on. It's just an allergy. You guys are overreacting, and now you need to shut up. You're being really annoying right now, you know? I'm not going to shut up, sir. You're harassing and endangering my friend. I have to stand up for her. Rena. If you keep on talking to me like this, I'm gonna have to have you fired or demoted. Are you really fine with that? Do you want that to happen to you? But- I don't really want to say this out loud, but Rena isn't really good at her job. She's probably the most inefficient employee in our department. She's still kind and reliable, but that's the truth. She's been scolded by her superiors many times because of that, and she said she wants to fix that about herself. But Rena has stood up for me, and she tried her best to protect me. I can't just sit here with her sucking my thumb. I have to stand up for myself. Sir. Huh? What is it? I, uh, um, I have. I'm allergic to alcohol, so I... Damn it, I can't do it. This is too scary. I'm telling you, it's gonna be fine, so don't worry. This will change your world. Now just open your mouth, okay? As he said that, he started bringing the bottle in his hand closer to my mouth. I, I, I can't do this. My allergy aside, I can't drink that much alcohol in one go. I'll get drunk and pass out. What the hell is this man thinking? Sir! I told you to shut it, didn't I? You gotta stay out of this, you little brat! Sir, please. I can't do this. I'll do anything else you want me to do. Just not this. Please. You think I'm just gonna say, oh, you poor you, and let you not drink anything? Well, what are you gonna do when you go out for drinks with your clients, huh? But, but... But this is a company party. The company's paying for your drinks. It'd be rude to go home without even taking a single sip. Someone help! I looked around the room and searched for anyone that would be willing to help me, but everyone pretended not to notice. Were they probably reluctant to involve themselves in this situation? Why? Why are they just letting this happen? But that's when the bottle was inching closer to my mouth, suddenly disappeared. Huh? Mm, you're right, this is delicious, sir. What? When I looked up, I saw Yoshiyama drinking from the bottle that my boss was forcing onto me. Wait, how was he fine chugging that thing? He might be used to it, but still. Man, you know your alcohol, sir. That was great. Thank you for introducing me to this. Uh, huh? Uh, well, yeah, anytime, Yoshiyama. Uh, anyway, uh, don't worry about it. My boss looked confused and surprised. He probably didn't expect anyone to finish the drink in one go. Well, I didn't either. The bottle was still full. There's a lot of alcohol for one person. You know what? I actually want more. Hey, Miss Yagi, do you think I can have that drink that's in your cup? 
You mean this? Yeah, sure, go ahead. And that's when Yoshiyama started drinking beer from my cup. He occasionally paused to munch in the food that was on our table. Man, I want more food too, actually. Could you order some for me real quick? Yes, of course. I've never seen anyone eat this much so quickly. He's like one of those food fighters you see on TV. And as Yoshiyama devoured all of the food and drinks that were on our table, a crowd started forming around our table. People were watching on as Yoshiyama put on an eating show at our table. How much are you going to eat? That's everything we ordered. Oh, wait, that was it? You guys don't have any more food coming? No, of course not. You've ate too much. Ah, that's disappointing. Well, if you guys are out of food, then I guess I'll go home. And as he said that, he grabbed my hand and stood up. Wait, why is he holding my hand? Oh, wait, did he save me? Is he actually a nice person? I realized that Yoshiyama was trying to help me leave the party, but I started quietly thanking him. But that's when my boss came to his senses and yelled. You're not gonna go home, you asshole. Who said you could go home, huh? Wait, why can't I go home? Because no one else is ready to go home, huh? You see anyone else putting on their jackets? No, right? But you said earlier it'd be rude to the company if we left without drinking anything. But I drank her drink for her, and that means she should be able to go home, right? I even finished all the food that they ordered. Uh, no, that's not how it works. You can't drink for her. She's got to finish her drinks herself. Why is that? You never said that before I started eating and drinking. You just made up that rule because you don't want us to go home. And by that logic, that means that I shouldn't have eaten or drinking at their table. Are you saying that shouldn't be allowed to? Of course not. Why can't you just do as my instructions say and do as I say? This is why you're always causing more trouble back at the office. Oh, well, I'm really sorry, but you never gave me any clear instructions, so I didn't really know what you wanted me to do. What I was trying to do was stop Miss Yagi from drinking alcohol because she has an alcohol allergy. But did I do something wrong, sir? I heard Miss Yagi and Miss Eto trying to reason with you, but you didn't care to listen, and you were still trying to force her to drink and claim that alcohol allergies don't exist. But what was that all about, sir? I'm getting mixed signals here. Could you help me understand things a bit better? Man, if you were trying to make Miss Yagi drink alcohol for another reason, then I'm sorry I stepped in and ruined things. You had the right intentions, didn't you, sir? But your ideas are truly incredible, sir. I would never think to force someone with an alcohol allergy to drink alcohol, but I don't know how that's supposed to help her in the long run, but I'm sure you have your secrets. Yoshiyama practically shouted that across the room so that everyone could hear what he was saying. Uh, hey, why the hell are you yelling that out? Uh, wait, what's happening? That's insane. That's not fair to Miss Yagi. I know you like to harass people, but that's crossing the line, sir. Everyone started openly criticizing Mr. Kurosaki. They were all fed up with Mr. Kurosaki's bullying and harassment. Kurosaki, what the hell is going on here? Uh, wait, sir, please don't tell me you heard all that. Well, unfortunately for you, I did. Now explain what just happened to me in your own words. Uh, well, Yoshiyama was exaggerating, you see? I was just trying to help Yagi to get over her dislike of alcohol. Y you know, there are times in life where you gotta drink alcohol, so I was trying to prepare her for when those times come. I had the best intentions in mind, sir, I swear. Well, that would make sense if we were talking about anyone else, but this is Yagi we're talking about. She has an alcohol allergy, you bastard. She can't physically drink alcohol or else it would kill her. Uh, but that's just a lie that she made up, sir. She lied because she didn't want to drink alcohol. She's not lying, you idiots. She actually has that allergy. She handed us the diagnosis when she joined our company. Wait, why do you know so much about her? Because Yagi is my wife's sister, and that makes her my sister-in-law. Uh, wait, you're kidding me, right? I was the one that was there when she drank alcohol for the first time in her life. I saw her having an allergic reaction. That's how I knew she was not lying. Yagi has an alcohol allergy. Isn't that enough for you? Uh, yes, sir. I'm sorry. I understand. You could have seriously hurt her, you know? Why the hell were you trying to make her drink something that she can't? What the hell were you thinking? Don't you know how dangerous allergic reactions are? I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking straight, but I feel like you're being overprotective, sir. Overprotective? Oh, stop being ridiculous. Her allergic reactions can cause serious harm, you know. She's only had a small sip of beer when she first passed out in front of me. I've been telling you this for the past few minutes now, are you not listening? Uh, I am, uh, of course I am. But it sounds like you're not fully understanding what I'm trying to tell you. It's just going in one ear and going out the other. This is why people think you're incompetent, you know. What were you gonna do if something did happen to her? She could have been transported to the hospital and worst case scenario, her life could have been in danger. What were you gonna do then, huh? Uh, well, I, uh, but, but anyway, did you even know that you could be sued for trying to force her to drink, even if no allergies are involved? Uh, wait, what? 
Well, you tried forcing someone to drink even though they said no. Obviously, you can get sued like that. You even always pick on someone with timid personalities and try to force them to drink more. But that's actually considered harassment, you know. If you force someone to do something they don't want to do, then that's forced coercion, and it's punishable by the law. That's ridiculous. There's no way that's true. No, it definitely is true. I looked it up just now, and I found similar cases where people like you were sued for much less. And every time, the court has sided with the plaintiff. Uh, uh, no way! Wait, this isn't the first time you've done something like this? Uh, no, I was just thinking about what was best for them, and... And you also threatened to demote or fire Miss Eto earlier because she tried to protect Miss Yagi. Is that allowed? I think that's against the company rules, too. And I think that fits the description for coercion, too. Uh, but I... <laughs> what a joke. You don't even have the authority to, to demote or fire people, you idiot. You know what? It doesn't matter what you were trying to do. I'm gonna bring this up with the board and we'll come up with a way for a punishment for you. Uh, no way. Please, sir. Y you gotta forgive me. I said I was sorry. Why are you apologizing to me? You should be apologizing to someone else. Uh, Yagi, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I, I can't. Sorry, sir. Why not? Because what you did was a crime. You put me in danger, sir. I can't forgive you. I was seriously scared, you know. I want you to be punished. I'm sorry, but you deserve this. Well, you heard her. I'm excited to find out what's gonna happen to you. I can't wait till Monday. The higher-ups have been discussing your behavior and we noticed that you've been acting awfully arrogant lately. So we're gonna look into this and make sure that you haven't done anything else that violates the company rules. You'd be lucky to receive a demotion or a suspension. You really should definitely expect something more coming your way. It, no way! Mr. Kirishima collapsed onto the ground and started groaning. I really hope he can look back on what he did and understand why he's getting punished for it. See? You can stand up for yourself. I, I, I was a bit scared, but I'm glad I did. I didn't think I had it in me. I'm kind of surprised with myself. But anyway, thank you for helping me. You really saved me. Well, it looked like you were really struggling, so I'm sorry I couldn't help you sooner. I should have stepped in earlier. No, don't worry about it. I'm just glad you were brave enough to step in. And thank you too, Rena. No, I'm sorry I couldn't help you. I can't believe I was scared of him. I'm a bad friend, I know. That's not true. You standing up for me alone gave me a lot of confidence and courage, and I can't thank you enough for it. Thank you. Mm, Katie, I I'm so glad you're okay. <laughs> Don't cry now, come on. But anyway, are you all right, Yoshiyama? You had a whole feast. No, I'm fine. I like to eat a lot, you know? And afterwards, Mr. Kirishima met with the board and tried to make up excuses. I was just drunk, okay? I'm sorry. But that obviously wasn't good enough for the higher-ups. They found out about how he's been harassing me and the other employees for a while now, and he was immediately fired for misconduct. He was a bad influence in our workplace anyway, and we'll be better off without him. But that wasn't all. Man, this is incredible! He's famous now! Yeah, I'm starting to feel bad for him. Someone filmed Yoshiyama devouring all of our food at the party, and he also ended up filming the part where Yoshiyama started telling everyone about what Mr. Kirishima had tried to do to me. The video was released onto the internet, and the two became celebrities overnight. Yoshiyama was praised for his bravery, while Mr. Kirishima was, well, let's just say people didn't like him very much. So apparently, he's having a hard time finding a job now. He's even having trouble landing a part-time job, so I have no idea where he is and what he's doing. Maybe he's sleeping under a bridge somewhere. I hope he's not starving to death or anything, but meanwhile... Man, look at Yoshiyama! He's all popular now! All of the girls at the office are fawning over him! You're right. But are you sure you don't want to keep him to yourself? I thought he was your boyfriend. What? You guys are dating, right? Well, yeah. What's going on, Kaede? It, it's nothing. Wow, so he calls you by your first name now, huh? Stop picking on me. Yoshiyama always thought that I looked like a small animal, like a squirrel or something. He was always worried about me because Mr. Kirishima used to pick on me very often. Did I look that helpless? But anyway, he was worried about me, but I couldn't strike up a conversation with me because he was too nervous to come and talk to me. I guess I should have realized that he was worried about me, and I should have been the one to strike a conversation with him. But when we did start talking, we realized we had a lot of things in common. We naturally grew close to each other, and it didn't take long for us to start dating. Alright, let's eat. Mmm, you're such an amazing cook, Kaede. Thanks. I'm glad you like it so much, Dunya. But it's always hard figuring out how much I should make for you. <laughs> We eventually got married. Junya actually has a YouTube channel now, where he posts a video of him eating. 
He has no idea how to film or edit videos, though, so he has his friend take care of the technical aspect of the business. Everyone at the office supports his side gig, and the company even introduced a new policy that allows its employees to start a YouTube channel. And I'm going to be in one of his videos in the near future, as his wife and personal cook. I'm super nervous to show my face on camera, but this is a good opportunity to put my name out there. <laughs> Let's do this!